want to do is just, we're just going to do a whip where we go around and say um, our position on the topic um, very quickly, <coughs> 10 seconds a person. So I want to know, um, should embryonic stem cell research be pursued and why you think so as concisely as you possibly can? And I'm going to go this way around. I think that um, embryonic stem cell, like all that research should be like pushed aside a little bit. Like I know even though that adult stem cells they already have like proven and how about like it's harder to come by, but I think if we just combine adult stem cell research and all that, they will um, reduce the whole controversy about the embryonic stem cells and about the whole thing about embryonic uh, embryos and killing or saving a life. And it's kinda like the same thing as abortion, so I think that if we just went for the research in the adult, then it will, it will lessen the whole controversy on embryonic cells research. I think that um, research definitely should be done not only to help the people in the present, because like, if we find out more about embryos and how they can help uh, cure diseases, we can also think about how this affects these disorders and the nature of these disorders, even if we don't know that much about them. I think that... We should try like every other method possible than embryonic stem cells because to be tampering with something that could have been a person, in my opinion, is a, like a big deal and something to like think about. So I think we should try other things as well. I think we should try other things as well than people like animal embryos and stuff like that. Um, I think that we should stay up. Uh, adult stem cells more because it will lessen up the controversy between embryonic stem cells. And then we could um, get more in depth about it and what we know so we can, well, so we can know more. Um, I'm going to have to kind of agree with what Shayla was saying because like, as far as the controversy right now, it's not just going to go away. I mean, you know, we may like prove that like it can help and we may come up with some big, you know, you know, something that somebody can take to completely, you know, get rid of you know, if they're paralyzed, but I mean, the controversy is always going to be there of whether or not we're killing somebody, so I think we should just push more towards the adults themselves. I think despite uh, both the sides of the spectrum and the controversy, the people that really um, have the biggest, you know, problem is the people that are paralyzed, and there's many healthy people that argue this side, but they've never really um, felt the effects of like paralysis and stuff, and those are the people that really need uh, this uh, treatments and research and stuff. So I think that they should continue researching embryonic stem cells because, um, because, because uh, it could be their last chance. Yeah, it could be their last chance. So. Um, I don't, I don't think that they should continue it, but like. What Mikay was saying earlier, like those leftovers, um, like they could ask the mother or like the people, they could ask whether you know they're willing or not to donate it to research or if they just want it to be thrown away because it's you know it's coming from their body, it's you know so they have the choice to say whether they want to or not. So it wouldn't really be just like you know it's all the researchers they're just taking it. It's more like they're asking us first. So. I think that we definitely need to do more research and trying to figure out more because we don't really understand it fully. So once we understand it, then that's when we should choose the side of the, side of the controversy. Um, I say we should do it because they, they ask if, if it should be done or um, benefits that haven't been proven, but that's the whole point of the research, so they can prove it. So it when it should be done, is continue research because you don't really know what can be done. Yeah. There could be different things between embryonic and adult stem cells, different possibilities, you never know. Thank you guys very much. That was great. Thank you.